Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. Hello, I'm Joey McWilliams. On the summit with me today is Jason Walker of the Jason Walker Show. He is the voice of sports in Montana. And Jason, I have I've watched your show a number of times, and I think that's probably a, a pretty good title. I, I think I don't know if there's anything that's going on sports wise or even peripherally sports wise that you don't know about if it's happening within Montana. So thank you for stopping by the summit today. Hey man, I appreciate you appreciate you having me and appreciate the uh uh, the the kind words it's uh it's been a long time it, it, i've been in this business a while here in the state and, and i love what i do so i'm just happy to be along with you well the the kind words are well deserved and and i i mean that you're you're enjoyable to listen to and you know it it's fall now i, I well i don't know officially maybe tomorrow officially, I, think today, tomorrow, I don't know I, I don't know i always thought the 21st when i was growing up but i'm hearing different things now i'm sure someone is going to correct me and that's fine i'm okay with that i'm a big boy but it feels like fall where I am, and I know uh, you've had some snow even up around the area where you are too, but the, the great thing is fall sports are happening. That's what's really cool. You've got football going on. You have volleyball going on. You have rodeo going on as well, soccer, a number of other things. Uh, tell us about sports right now and, and uh, the just give us an overview of what's happening where you are. Well, it's great. I mean, you know, with last year not being – a normal year and I'm, I'm not going to dwell on that stuff that we all know about but um yeah it's it's great to have the high schools back the, the college is back and and doing what they do and and i love to just talk about the kids the coaches the stories the teams and you know we we have every monday we do a, a performance of the week i had to do two yesterday because over the weekend a high school kid threw for seven touchdowns or totaled seven touchdowns another threw for seven and ran for one and totaled eight i'm like who do i give this to like it, it's it's impressive and it's that's what's fun about what we do joey for a living is we get to talk sports and i just absolutely enjoy it and uh yeah i mean we've got nai football we've got d2 sports we've got d1 sports and uh it's a great state to be in and, and then not having a professional team makes it all that better you know, I and and I understand that. Of course, you're based in Montana. I'm based in in Oklahoma. We do now have a professional team with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, that, but that was a long time coming. I mean, you you would you would have thought that uh, that the Oklahoma Sooners were the professional team <laughs> for many many years. And there's some people that probably still think they are. That having been said, we're visiting with Jason Walker coming to us from the man cave, and I appreciate that award winning. Jason Walker, who's the Montana Sportscaster of the Year a couple times in the last eight years. We talk about small college sports here on Midwest Sportsnet, and, and I know you do have the Frontier Conference pretty much in your backyard. Football uh, is is big in the Frontier Conference and, and national championships, and it's not that far removed from Carroll winning six in a nine-year span. And uh, I, I know that uh, you have a lot, of, uh, a lot of good football going on there right now. We definitely do. In the frontier, you know, we we uh, we selfishly say it's the SEC of the NAI, um, but it's you know it is. When you look at Carroll and it's it the run that they had for for all those titles, and then you know Southern Oregon stepped up. You had Eastern Oregon making the playoffs. Uh, Montana Western, Rocky recently. It's just um, it's a fun league to cover because you never know what you're going to get. Literally any given week, and it's so spread out. You know, we have the Big Sky Conference in one you know, FCS, I guess, one double A. But uh, we really are in the frontier of the Big Sky because we cover from Oregon, Idaho, Montana. And it used to be in North Dakota as well with Dickinson. Um, and I'm hearing Dickinson may come back to the league if Southern Oregon leaves, which is it's all a bunch of moving parts. But it's so much fun in the frontier from the coaches, you know, the legendary Mike Van Deest, of course, with the six titles at Carroll. But Tim Camp and at Eastern Oregon, what he's built over 12 years. And he's now the, the longest reigning coach in the frontier. Uh, and then Coach Van Deese, now the defensive coordinator at MSU Northern, which is going to make them better. It's just, uh, it's it's fun, man. And, and Southern Oregon with a national championship back in 2014. Carroll should have won it that year. But the, uh, <laughs> the frontier or the NAI and all of its wisdom with their seedings and scheduling and regionality um, had a had a matchup of Carroll and Southern Oregon in the quarterfinals. It was like, what are you doing here? They've already played twice, but it's a great league to cover. And I didn't know much about it honestly until 2013. I knew growing up in Montana, I knew about Carroll and covering sports, but it wasn't until you're in it 
that you realize how big the frontier is and yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, I, I I still question some of the the pairings, by the way, in, in the NAI football playoffs. But uh, that's a topic that we could go on probably for another half hour. We'll, we'll, oh, save that. we'll save that show for another time. Eastern Oregon, by the way, you mentioned them. I mean, they're among the tops in the conference that are in the top 25 now. Yeah, I think they're up to 13th or maybe 11th right now. But uh, Tim Camp's done a great job. Kai Quinn, their quarterback, has been a stud since he was a freshman. And uh, I just... When you're doing radio at the time, like I was for Carroll, it's it's fun to watch these other kids and the the crop of quarterbacks that has developed over the last few years. You know, Kai Quinn at Eastern, you got John Jund down at Western, um, and then uh, Devin Bridgewater at Carroll. It's so much fun to watch. And Rocky, when they made their run, I mean, they were running a couple of different quarterbacks uh, before they got uh, blown out in their playoff loss a couple years ago. But it's a fun league, and uh, Eastern Oregon, man, they can run it. It's a uh, it's a, they're from La Grande, Oregon. It's a small little beautiful town. Uh, in fact, you can still see the, the old wagon trail uh, from the Oregon Trail uh, up on the hillside. That's how awesome it is uh, right through La Grande. It's, uh, it's a beautiful area, and, and Tim Camp's done a great job and, and such a friendly guy to talk with, too. We're speaking now with Jason Walker here on the summit. By the way, I invite you please to consider subscribing to the channel Midwest Sports Net as uh, we are growing and, and we want to continue growing and, and continue talking about small college sports and more in the Midwest and beyond as we're talking now uh, about the Frontier Conference. Volleyball going on as well, too. And, and uh, in, in our ranking here, we have Providence in the top 10, I think number eight, and uh, the, the Argos are, are doing well right now. Yeah, Runis Duda has been there from day one and uh, over a decade, and he is such a great coach, and he's just gotten the talent to come in. And you know as well as I do, Joey, when you're when you're building a program, it, it's all about who you can get in, who you've got to beat. And for a long time in the Frontier, it was Rocky. Uh, their coach, uh, Yang Yang, has been there as a player when she led them to uh, Nationals a few years ago. Uh, now she's the head coach. And Rocky's taken a step back, and Providence and Montana Tech now are stepping mm -hmm. up. And it's fun to see that because it's not the same team over and over. Uh, teams get, still get excited when they beat Rocky like uh, Montana <laughs> West did last week. But, uh, yeah, they're just diving into frontier conference play now. And and Providence is the real deal. And Sidney Finberg Roberts at the, uh, the setter position. And uh, they've got some unbelievable athletes. And Arunas, like I said, Duda is a, he's a great coach, better guy. And a, a wonderful, wonderful man to uh, family man, too. So he's he's, he's awesome. And. And he's done a nice job. He's got a little backing, a little financial backing, which definitely helps too. That, Especially in the small schools, you know that. Uh huh. That goes a long way. That definitely goes a long way. And you know, some teams, by the way, it's some teams you just always want to beat anyway. There, there are going to be those teams out there. It doesn't matter, good year, bad year. They'll always have a target on their backs. And, oh yeah. Well, Carroll. So, I mean, Carroll <laughs> yeah. football was four and six for like three straight years, and everybody's like, we still beat Carroll. Like, well, <laughs> we're not the same, but okay. Exactly. I understand that. You know, I, by the way, I one of the things I appreciate about your show, I talk, you know, we talk about sports here. We're talking about that now, but uh, it's it's fun to listen to all the sports too. You do a lot of pop culture stuff as well. You've had some great guests on even recently. Uh, obviously one that, uh, you know, has universal name recognition, Larry the Cable Guy. Uh, last week, but uh, you've had some some stars on. Yeah, it's fun. You know, I, I I patterned my show Joey after Dan Patrick. I mean, he's the best in the business at what he does. Um, and so you know, you see from the memorabilia around, and I don't know if I can switch cameras right now if it would knock us off. But you know, we've got helmets, we've got all sorts of jerseys, and 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 that's kind of what it was patterned back uh, after when I started this three years ago. But you know, we had Forey J. Smith, better known as Lloyd from uh, TV show Yellowstone. He was on yesterday, but he's a Montana guy. He was born in Montana, yeah. raised in Helena, uh, went to school at Montana State. So it's it, it's awesome. And but yeah, I just I like to you know reach out to to people and and what I think would be interesting to the audience. A lot of times, it's who I want to talk with. And you know, if I can get John Taffer from Bar Rescue, I'm going to. I mean, that's <laughs> that's fun stuff for me. And. And I think the audience appreciates it too. As much as we love to talk about sports, it's always fun to to break up the monotony a little bit, especially in the slow times of seasons. Right. No, you're and you're exactly right. Well, it's not a slow time right now. There's football <laughs> going on, volleyball going on. I mentioned rodeo going on uh, in a number of, of states, and that that is uh, a fun event to watch. Of course, the mm -hmm. fall season happening, then the spring will, uh, uh, you know 
get underway here in a little while, but the weather I think is hopefully cooperating for a lot of places. Where are you going to be this weekend? Uh, this weekend is actually kind of cool. I get to go work with uh, a freelance crew uh, for SWX TV uh, out of Washington, but it's SWX Montana. I'll be calling the uh, MSU Northern Rocky Mountain College game from Haver, uh, which will be fun. And then uh, doing some MSU Northern rodeo for the Big Sky region that uh, that night. So I'll be uh, pulling double duty. And then next week we've got rodeo down at Montana Western and and uh, doing some football, I think, too, next week down in uh, for some high schools. So that's what's cool about what I do is, you know, after I got let go at the radio station in 2019 is went out on my own. And now it's just me. I get to I can freelance. I've got, you know, a couple of different things. I went down to Colorado ski joring, uh, announced that for the first time last January. A sport I knew about, had never really covered and studied, but um, and until you go to a ski joring event, it's it's cowboys meet hippies, and it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's horses pulling people on skis around jumps and corners. It's fun. That is great. I, okay, I, I I'm gonna have to. I I was unaware of that sport, so I'm gonna have to do a little oh. research and watch that. That's fantastic. That's great. I mean, these horses are going 25, 30 miles an hour, pulling a guy on or a gal on, a, on, on skis and they're doing jumps and oh, so much fun. That is cool. Well, all right. Well, Hey, listen, I do understand the, the freelancing. It's fun when you get to, to uh, call your own shots, go where you want to go. That is a, a really good deal. So, uh, I, I appreciate Jason, you coming on with me today and being here with us on the summit. And I know, uh, that your, particular broadcast it's a place where people can go to get coverage from montana high school sports college sports a whole lot more where do they find you you can go to jasonwalkershow.com that'll direct you to uh the facebook twitter the youtube the pod bean all over all everywhere we can be um it, it's uh we have fun and and i decided you know joey we don't talk a whole lot of national sports unless it ties in with montana mm -hmm. um, because you can find national sports anywhere 24 yep. 7 you can't get montana sports all the time and so that's what I do and that's what I enjoy. And, and, uh, that's why I love it. So I appreciate you having me on. Well, I guess I'll have to return the favor and have you on now soon. too. <laughs> well, I, lo I look forward to that, but I really, I, I definitely just in advance, I want to, I want to book it again. So I, I want you to come back because I know there's a lot more to talk about. And, and of course, we'll get into basketball season before long, too. I definitely uh, want this to be the place where we come and, and get our fix for Montana sports here on Midwest Sportsnet. Jason Walker of the Jason Walker Show, who does a fantastic job. I encourage you to check out his work and, uh, and keep him in mind. Jason, thanks so much for being with us here today on the Summit. Appreciate it, Joey.